I'd like to welcome uh, Dimitri Oziakis, uh, VP of the Memory and I.O. Technology Group at Intel, a very key partner for Micron. Dimi, uh, welcome. Thank you, Praveen. Pleasure to be here. Thank Great to be working with you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I th I'm very excited about our conversation today. Um, you know, the compute and memory industry have seen a lot of inflections over the last few years, uh, more so than in the past. Um, what we find is uh, integration of compute and me memory is becoming so much more valuable to our customers. Uh, we are here today uh, to talk about a new product that we are bringing to the market called MRDEM, standing for multi-ranked DEM. The RDEM form factor and the RDEM solution has been the workhorse of memory and compute systems for a really long time. I was hoping you could share a little bit about the evolution and the creation of the MRDEM from your perspective. Absolutely, absolutely. And you're absolutely right. We're standing in a place where uh, the flops, the fundamental uh, compute capabilities as intertwined with the bytes, the, the memory bandwidth, is, uh, is at the core of the uh, inflection point we're seeing from high performance computing to AI. And this is actually how we started developing and uh, inventing MRDIM. Uh, we looked at, as you pointed out, the RDIM forming the workhorse of DRAM for servers and for high performance computing. And we wanted to create something that augments the bandwidth, increases the capability of bandwidth, but leveraging the same infrastructure of the RDIM, the same channel, the same capability, so that customers have a choice in choosing the RDIM, the workforce, that is still actually the bread and butter of the industry, or a higher bandwidth, a better capability for high performance computing. And quite honestly, what happened in the interim is that the industry really turbocharged the need for bandwidth. So MRDIM finds itself as a technology right in the middle of, the, of that great growth of bandwidth and, uh, and capabilities that the AI and high performance computing demands. And it was an invention that essentially uh, came out of the capabilities of DDR5, the RDIM, and our need to multiplex and take the best of both worlds and maximize the bandwidth of the DRAMs and the channel and the uh, server capabilities. So that's how we started inventing and, and Micron has been a partner pretty much from the very start, uh, st starting phases. Uh, I, I, I think I still remember the, the days when we were drawing up on the, on the boards, uh, the patterns and how we would multiplex and the different schemes. And uh, very quickly after that, we started working together and we started developing that technology for the server first and then uh, now finding ourselves in a huge inflection point for AI and, and, and HPC. Great, no, thanks for that a little bit of the history behind the solution. I think you said something that is very key is that um, it's a solution that fits within the well-known RDIM form factor, the well-defined de well pinouts that the industry is used to. And I think that's an important point because for broader adoption of the solution, it's probably important that it it fits into something that the industry is used to. Was that something that was important in the original conception of the product? Or? Absolutely, it was core, I, and it was one of the reasons we actually uh, stopped several of the ideas that were uh, breaking the boundaries, uh, because customer choice is, of, is paramount. Okay. Customer choice and an open ecosystem is paramount to uh, growth in, in the technology world, to actually fueling HPC, AI nowadays, and server workloads, and providing uh, customers different optimization points. So it was absolutely a, a key boundary in, in the innovation we looked into. And it, it was a, at the core of what we wanted to create with MRDM. Excellent, excellent. I think we are definitely aligned on making things easy for our customers. Right. So, from our perspective, as we've looked at the product as it was defined and as it's being developed, and we've been 
doing a lot of uh, workload evaluations to go look at you know what is the true value for our customers in their use cases and we see some incredible value props like greater than 45 percent bandwidth improvement with the currently available RDEM solution, greater than 40% latency improvements. So we clearly see the memory value proposition that we can go deliver to our customers. I'm also curious as, as you are designing platforms that enable this technology, how do you go look at value proposition? Is there a TCO that you feel is important to your customers? How do you see that? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, at the system level, uh, TCO is a core KPI, as we, uh, as the technology industry calls it. It is at the core of certainly the large-scale deployments, uh, and uh, but it does vary. It varies depending on the workload being exercised. In, it varies depending on the environment the particular customer has and therefore TCO is a mix of workload performance, cost, uh, capabilities at, at the system level and of course uh, the cost of running the system over time depending on the amortization time of the system. Uh, so we looked at all these uh, parameters and you have to start with the technology core KPIs first which are indeed performance bandwidth, latency, power, and overall cost of the solution, and then expand to the system workloads. Uh, MRDIM from inception was really targeted at the bytes per flow paradigm, which mm -hmm. has been really a high performance computing core paradigm for a very long time, mm -hmm. and it continues. And if anything, AI is built upon that byte per flop uh, uh, core capability and core need. And MRDIM was built for that, but you mentioned also latency. There are, there are a couple of other uh, not as intuitive benefits like the decrease of latency. Mm. The decrease of, uh, of latency is either a key value for workloads that can uh, use lower latency, or it translates to bandwidth in a loaded latency uh, bandwidth curve, and again into higher uh, capabilities in terms of workload performance. So you'll see workloads nowadays uh, scaling almost linearly without additional bandwidth or with a lower latency. And there are two core reasons for that. Uh, certainly in the last few years, tur turbocharged in the last few years, one is the core count increase at the system level, which continues to uh, run its course and, uh, and increase. And the AI and HPC workloads, which grew from a single digit percentage of the industry to a much larger scale. And these are all memory bandwidth bound and latency bound. So uh, Llama 3, for example, is very latency sensitive. It benefits really well from the actual latency reduction of MRDIM. Timmy, you talked about collaboration. Um, we always believe that it's such a strong aspect of bringing new solutions to market. And uh, the collaboration has been multifaceted in this case. It started off with standards definition, spec definition. It evolved to early development. It evolved to validation at the system level and eventually collaborating with our mutual customers also. Um, can you think of what has been unique about this product, MRDEM? and how do you think it's going to help our customers through the collaboration? Absolutely. So one of the key elements, as we mentioned, of unique, uniqueness is that we're bringing a new technology to market, yet we're bringing it in a form factor, in a system that is fully compatible with the RDIM, the DDR5 channel. So we're bringing choice rather than a uh, hard uh, technology evolution to customers. And we're augmenting the goodness of the existing system and giving them multiple different choices. Why is the collaboration super important? Because in order to do that, you really need to find ways that you can do this in a compatible way, in a reliable way, mm -hmm. in an open ecosystem way. And this is where Intel and Micron work really, really well together in ensuring that those systems are reliable, the, it is really a full choice to the customer, whether it's an RDIM or an MRDIM, 
whether you want to optimize your system for high bandwidth uh, workloads or capacity uh, capabilities. And that is really fundamental to the proliferation of the different workloads that we see in the customer install base. That's, that's a good call out, uh, and I'm really glad you mentioned that because our customers almost expect that from us, right? They expect that close collaboration, so we, devel we deliver a robust solution to them. Uh, so maybe, uh, you know, mention something else uh, as you were talking, and you talked about Llama 3 uh, and the evolution of large language models and how that's driving a greater need for various um, compute and memory subsystems for both inference and training. We've done some workload testing on your platforms with the MRDEM, <coughs> and it's pretty incredible that in inference applications uh, with large language models, we see a greater than 30% improvement in tokens per second uh, compared to uh, existing solutions today from a DDR5 perspective. So if I think about that, um, I'd like to understand, you know, how, as uh, applications evolve, right, whether it's HPC, AI, and various use cases evolve, and given that this is a multi-generational solution, right, the MRDM is starting uh, this year, but it's going to continue, and there's an evolution path to provide greater and greater bandwidth and capacity over time. How do you see that being adopted in the industry in terms of use cases and applications? Absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, and actually, you're making a good point. Uh, this is only the start right. of our evolution with MRDIM. And MRDIM and RDIM are complementary technologies that uh, really provide a full spectrum of solutions across the DDR5 spectrum. So as MRDIM provides the high bandwidth and the bandwidth to capacity uh, capabilities, RDIM continues to provide great bandwidth as well, as well as capacity. We see those continuing and we'll scale both solutions together in the industry into future uh, generations. We, I mentioned at the start that the core counts and the high performance computing workloads continue to uh, evolve and, in, and increase in the case of core count. And this is a fundamental tool for us to uh, address the core count increase and be able to feed those workloads that require bandwidth mm -hmm whilst we also feed the workloads that require capacity with the bread and butter RDIM solution. So it's a fundamental building block to uh, HPC, AI, and classical server workloads uh, for, uh, as, we, as we move forward. And as you look into core count increases starting even today, it is more and more bandwidth bound. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the goodness you unlock from the additional bandwidth of MRDIM is almost linear. That's why you're seeing the Llama uh, performance in example that you mentioned. Right, right. So Demi, I think uh, you know we are very excited about bringing this product to the market. Uh, but I also know it has to be well aligned uh, with your own platform readiness. How do you think that's going? Can you talk about that? Absolutely, yes. We've, do, we've been doing a lot of uh, work jointly to validate uh, this technology. Uh, it's going really great. Uh, the Intel systems are pretty much ready in very good health across uh, multiple ecosystem choices. And uh, with, uh, with Micron, we've actually uh, even uh, shown some demos of the technology and how it's scaling in terms of performance. And we look forward to introducing this technology later this year, actually, in Intel servers with uh, really, really good performance, as, uh, as we noted. I think one of the things I was most excited about the readiness of this platform was that we were able to deliver these 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte MRDEMs in a tall form factor, which I believe really addresses some unique use cases for customers of capacity and uh, power efficiency. Absolutely, absolutely. And the stability is, is right there today. Uh, so I think it will be very exciting later this year when we jointly launch. Uh, that's great. Um, I think that also translates to, you mentioned choice, I think making it easy for our customers. I think uh, as I close out this discussion with you, I, I, I hope you would agree that along with providing the choice, both of us have uh, a responsibility to go help our customers 
find the right solution that fits the application that they may have and given these many of options, I think that's the work that we need to continue to do with our customers going forward. Absolutely, yes. We're now entering the first generation of that technology with, uh, with a lot more work to be done with the industry and we look forward to indeed uh, working together, optimizing applications or optimizing the choice of customers right. to apply to the best areas. So certainly look forward to the uh, continued collaboration and I think this is a really great example of technology innovation in a open uh, choice manner to our customers. Right. Thank you, Dimi. Thank you so much for your time. I really look forward to what our customers can do with this product and very exciting to have you join us as we launch this product together into the marketplace. It's absolutely a pleasure.